Yeah, I'm Ruben, uh, 21 years old, uh, from Sheffield. I'm currently studying uh, joint honours in sport and business management at the University of Derby. Um, yeah. How old were you when you first got into boxing? Yeah, I first got into boxing when I was about 15. A friend went down to the local boxing gym, which was St. Vincent's ABC. Um, yeah, it went down one day, invited me to go down. Um, walked into the gym, um, instantly liked what I saw, and I had a go. Never looked back since. Um, were your parents like scared, obviously? Sport. Yeah, yeah, because obviously, you know, when you see it on TV, you know, it's when people, especially when people get knocked out in a boxing fight, you know, no mother wants to see their child get knocked out. You know, so, we were scared. Yeah, I, I was, I was nervous, you know, um, the first fight, you know, because I, because I'd been watching all the fights before, and I just like loads of thoughts going through my head on how it, it would be being in there, and. Yeah, but I, I was excited to get in there. So how was the actual fight? I mean, basically, yeah, got in the ring. I was just, you know, trying to do what I, what I do, what I did in the training, and, you know, I got so I, then I got hit with my first shot in a, a natural bout, and then, I don't know, from then, it kind of got me energized to to just go for it. And yeah, managed to stop him in the first round. So. Oh, no. oh, you know, whilst I was training, because especially as it gets closer to the fights, you know, your personality changes a little bit because you know you're focused on the fight, and you know you can you can be a bit. I have been a bit snappy or you know a little bit off with um, with my girlfriend, but. You know, she understands what the sport is about and what the sport entails. So, you know, she knows she knows it's nothing personal. It's just that I'm trying to focus on on the fight that I've trained hard for. And with family, you know, they've you know they've not really because they don't really understand boxing. It's hard for them. It's hard to be around them while I'm preparing for a fight because I can't really talk to them about it. So. You know, I tried to I tried to keep away, especially the last couple of days before a fight. Tried to keep away from family and stuff. Yeah. Do your family come and support you? Uh, you no, support not not for a fight. They wouldn't. No. Um, why is that? Just because they think. Oh, yeah. yeah, just yeah. They couldn't. They, they have always said they couldn't come and watch me boxing now. Yeah, yeah. Basically, it was just to do with you know you start uni, you make new friends, and you want to go out socialising with them, you know, and you're pretty much, especially at the start of uni, you're pretty much drinking every week, and you know as a boxer, you know, you you, you can't really be doing things like that, you know, and you get and I did get a bit distracted with uni and stuff, you know, and yeah, I kind of lost my priorities, you know, and. It became more about going out rather than training, so that they're the factors that I think affected me eventually leaving boxing for eight months, and you know my fitness was going down, and yeah. And then obviously you started again while at uni, so what meant did you just miss miss boxing so much? Then? Yeah, you know, once you start boxing, it, it gets in your blood, and you can't really. You can't really let go of the sport, even if it's just to go back training. You need, yeah, it becomes like a drug. You need your fix, and yeah, that's what boxing's like. In the last fight, obviously, in the um, university intermediate championships, um, I was uh, facing Richie Golden, and. Um, yeah, I felt relaxed for the fight going into it, and you know, I, I, it was I was I came off a win as well, so I was pretty confident. And yeah, I got in the ring. At first round, I didn't really, didn't really do much in the first round. It was it was a close round, and in the second round, caught him with some big shots, um, hurt him, and then went into the um, 
to the corner after the second round and my coach said to me, you know, it's 1-1 one, one now, you know, they probably, he probably nicked the first round and you definitely got the second round. So go in there and you know, you need to make this yours. Third round, same again, went in there, threw some really big shots. You know, my confidence was, I was, I was getting more and more confident. And yeah, I felt the third round definitely, I won as well. Went into the fourth round. Yeah, gave everything I got. Yeah, it was it was a close round, but I'd say I'd still I still won the round. And yeah, you know, went back into the corner. My coach said, "I think I think you've done enough there." You know, and I was looking at the crowd, the people that were watching boxers themselves, and there, and everyone were nodding at me as if to say, "Yeah, you have got it." Then it came to the decision time, and you know, you you could tell there was something wrong because. You know the judges. The judges were seemed seem to have been talking to each other for a long time. It took a lot longer than usual, and you know the commentator didn't know who was in what corner. You know it was all just a bit of a mess, really, to be honest. And you know when they gave when they finally made the decision after about 10, 10 or fifteen minutes, um, yeah, they gave the decision to Richard Golden, and and I was just in shock because I, I didn't really understand what was going on and my coach wasn't really happy, he, he kicked off a little bit, you know, because he actually then told me that um, he saw them circle my name down as the winner and then another judge came around and changed the uh, the scorecards. Um, then me and Richard Gordon took a picture and, you know, he raised my hand up and, yeah, that to me that just showed that he he knew what was going on and he knew that he'd lost the fight. Um, but you know, after after the fight, so I was just so di disappointed because I knew how much I trained for that fight mm. and I knew how much I put into it and it so, means so much, you know, British University champion and then to get it took off you like that on a split decision, which should have gone to you, you know, it's it's a bit heartbreaking to be honest. Obviously, you wouldn't decide to quit, you know, because it's boxing, you know, it's in your blood, you just do it. Anyway, you know, you, you get a, sort of like a warrior spirit, you don't you don't quit anything. You could lose a hundred fights, but you'll still be there boxing. And there's a lot of politics in boxing sometimes, you know, sometimes it depends what gym you're from and, you know, and the, and the university championships, unfortunately, they do favour some university over over the other ones and you know it's, it's just a thing that comes with boxing. <laughs>